Are you good? <laughs> Did you start the thing? I get yeah, it's just start. I gotta get the phone. It's recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, dickweeds? That's not the right thing. Not the right thing, Donna. That's better. Hey. Fucking rats. I should probably mention we're still on the blue cookies. <laughs> you should. <coughs> Bloop. You should also mention why the camera's so close. Oh, yeah. The, the camera's closer today because Donna started putting Christmas gifts under the tree. So all the munchies for Christmas that we had under the tree, we had to move and put on the table. So now across the table, we got a bunch of munchies, and we had to move the camera forward. So that's why you can't see the fucking... The, the can, you, can I show them? and you Can you set that back up? Or would it be too hard for you? Uh, no, just don't move like how, like, you know how the camera's like tilted or whatever? Yeah, I ain't gonna move Don't it. move that, I won't and move I can, do, I, I, I can I, do it. I, I, won't, I won't move nothing. Donna's got a lot of baked goods in the freezer and stuff. This is just the stuff that she bought at the fucking stores. And two. Mostly Donna. Okay, can you pass that up? I'll show you guys what we got in the way here. The Christmas goodies. Hey, <laughs> Donna told me people like to see this shit. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. There's Donna. Okay, Donna, let's point out some stuff here. We got our classic nuts. Got some classic nuts down here. Different um, cookies. Oh, fuck. Jeez. For fuck's sake, Donna's taking a dude. Uh, cookies and, well, more cookies. And that's just like chocolate covered pretzels and raisins and shit like that yeah and we got our our classic candy classic candy over here our classic pot of gold some pots of golds and some popcorn. popcorn and then those are just chocolates these are all mostly just chocolates in right here and then um candies and cheese balls more and candies chips. and cheese balls and chips and Donna has Donna's making a homemade cheese ball and we've got a bunch of blocks of cheese and fucking tubes of meat and fucking what else did you get Donna? Hang on. A bunch of pops and stuff. Like every flavor you can fucking think of. Can like, you see? I think. No. No, I can't see nothing, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's... Here, we'll hang on a little bit. Whatever you see on the screen is what they're seeing. I know, but... No, that, you fuck that area up, Donna. You see that? Yeah, that's fine there. I got, um, cookies, sugar crust cookies, yeah. and, uh... Peanut butter balls. But I've not done the peanut butter balls yet. I usually make tons of those. Oh, yeah. I should probably mention you might have seen my sandwich. <laughs> Donna made me some Italian sandwich. I don't even know what's on there. Meat, cheese, pickles, tomato, tomato, crackers. We have. Yeah, we got a bunch of crackers. Crackers. Uh, it's just we're we're set. Yeah, we're running out of room, so we need Christmas to come so we can get rid of some of this shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's get on with... Anyway, so that's why you guys are... Closer. Donna, for fuck's sake, you're not even in the screen. How about now? No, you, you fucked up big time. It's because all these fucking things are in the way. Hang on. Well, my chair is there. Because I just moved the camera. Oh! Sit back down. <laughs> Fuck. Stop. Okay, hopefully Donna's in the screen. I can't see it. We're trying to explain to you guys, I think, why the... Isn't that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the camera's a little off today because we've got all this shit on the table. We've got no fucking room. Anyway, today's Wednesday. Hump day. A day we dedicate to banging. But, uh, Donna had to get a tooth pulled, dude. Yeah, pulled out. Yeah, so, and, uh, tell us about that. <coughs> it was two needles, but you know, like, when they push half in, they take it out and they push it in somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. So, it was like that, and the tooth came out good, and, um, so far, so good. I see, like, it has clotted over, so hopefully there's... No fucking dry socket. There's no fucking infection. There's nothing. So that that's just fine and dandy. That's great. It's done. It was one of the you know the the classic older metal filling teeth, right? Tooth. That's what came out. Yeah, it was my last. It was my last metal filling tooth that I had as a kid. Huh. Oh, I found out today from the dentist. Right, I. Asked. I wanted to know what they did with teeth, like what happens, like after they pull them out. And I found out what happens, right? But then the dentist says to me, well, I'll, you know, I, I don't want to say a lot, but like say half the people ask for the tooth back, like adults, right? And if they, he said like, it's mostly wisdom teeth, right? That they act, ask to take home, right? So they will give them back to them, right? It's your people tooth. want their dirty tooth back? Yes. They're, uh, he said, especially the wisdom teeth, he said, they... If it looks really good, whatever, they want that wisdom tooth. I don't know, understand why or what's behind it, but... And then he said, but then there's also people that come in with, like, your tooth... Like, you know how bad your fucking teeth were? Oh, I had some bad ones. Asking for that back. Yeah, I don't want... I never want to see them again. I, when he <laughs> said that, I could not fucking believe it because it's like... I don't want my fucking tooth back. I don't want to ever yeah, see it again. Yeah, lots of my back teeth were really bad back... Like... I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, whatever the fuck, I don't know. And I was in a lot of pain back then. And those tooth, the teeth, the, everything that got yanked out of my mouth, I wouldn't want to keep that shit at yeah, all. Yeah, you said there's people <laughs> raised, like broken at the gum line and stuff like that. They want the tooth. I don't understand. Fuck! <laughs> hey? That's dirty. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't know. That's fucking dirty. Okay, Donna. You got some notes you wrote down here today. Uh, guy taking a shit. Okay, so... I... <laughs> Tell us about that one. I had to... Okay, so where my... Where our dentist is... It's at oh. The I should probably mention... <coughs> we're in Timmins, Ontario... Way up in Canada. That's where the stories are going to be coming from. <laughs> um. Hang on. Okay, so. Where our dentist is, if you're from Timmins, that's at the 101 Mall. If you're not from Timmins, you're not going to give a shit about this. But across the street from where I had. I couldn't park right in front of the fucking um, mall. I had to park on the. Going down Pine on that hill, right? About halfway down. And when you look across from there, there's like a, there's an old age or some old age apartment fucking fancy, fancy place. And then you have the parking thing, but then, you know, like, uh, it's like there's stairs going down, like for the underground parking or something like that. I'm not really sure what those stairs go to, but it's something to do with the parking lot. Okay. So I'm, I park, I pull in, I park the fucking car, you know, turn the fucking wheel left, you know, in case something happens, the car doesn't go into the oncoming traffic. And I see these two fucking, these Canadian Indian guys, okay, they're walking up the road. So I'm, I'm fucking watching them in the car. I'm grabbing my fucking change for the meter and shit like that, right? So that's, that's, you know, now I, I'm getting out of the car, right? Because there's no cars coming because like you're on a, you're parked like, what do you call it? 
like it's parking on the side of a road. Is that how you say it? Like off street parking? Like sure. that, okay? Yeah. So so I see them look down and there's a food basics bag on the side, uh, like on the sidewalk, right? And they both look at it, right? I'm, and I'm getting oh. out of the car. No, they both look at it and I was like- Scavengers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the one that, the, they were both tall, but the taller one out of them, right? I shut this, the door, right? And he says real fucking like loud enough, right? I don't really, I don't think they realize like how loud they're talking people, right? So I'm I'm now in front of the car because I'm going to the fucking meter to put change in, and the guy says to the other guy, he has to take a really bad shit, mm. okay? And I turn <laughs> around like this, and I'm thinking like, well, well like uh, you know, a like, really bad shit. I, I have to. He says, he says, fuck, I gotta take a really bad shit to the other guy, right? So any, and they're coming up on the stairs, okay? Like we're I. I'm going to say that leads her to the underground parking or something. You know what I'm talking about? There's a couple stairs. I, 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 I I've never, I, I don't walk in that area, but I do know there's stairs and there's like, you can see there's a light that probably kicks on at night. Maybe like an emergency exit or something like that, right? Anyways. So the other, sa the other guy says to him, now I'm putting in fucking change, okay, at the meter, but I'm facing the, like I'm putting a thing in and I'm like turning around looking to see what's going to happen, right? Okay. <laughs> no, I was and the guy, the other guy says to him, he says, don't worry, I'll stand here and I'll be lookout, he says. <laughs> the other guy went down the fucking stairs and that he went to go take his shit. He didn't have fucking toilet paper. He had no fucking pack sack. He was just went down there to take a fucking dump. Good thing it's cold because it'll freeze fast, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But still. A frozen piece of shit. That is horrible. And you're going to be lookout for your fucking... Fuck, go in the bush. Some, go fucking use a bathroom somewhere. Can you imagine? No. Because, like, your brain tells you it's not coming out, you know? Like, you're public. <laughs> you know? Fuck. Anyways, that fucking happened. Just disgusting. For those of you wondering, my sandwich tastes... Wonderful. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty decent. You forgot to put olives on there. Because the olives on are on the top shelf of the cupboard, and I can't, I couldn't reach. So them. the salt and pepper would have been nice. But I mean, well, I didn't know about the meat. Other than that, it's pretty good. That snoring sound you're hearing is Charlie the Labradoodle. Of course, he's sleeping behind me right now because I got a sandwich, <laughs> a deli meat sandwich. Charlie ain't gonna let me eat that alone. <laughs> Cocksucker. Okay, we had some snowball. We're having snowblower problems. Yeah. Today, <clears throat> Donna went to get a coffee at the Hortons, and so I was bored here waiting for her. So I figured, okay, well, I'll go and try and take that fucking gas cap off of her that she can't get off. So I went out there, and it popped off easily. Donna went and got gas, filled it up. The gas can. Yeah, she got a gas can and filled it up and poured it in. Everything is all filled up again. But now she can't get the cocksucker started. I never tried to start it because, like, well, there's not much I can do. It's just a button. It's a button or a pull cord. Or a pull we even cord. got fucking. The, the jizz went and pulled on the pulley cord there, and he. And he's like young, right? So he has. He's, he's young, and yeah, he's got long, wiry arms. So I'm not really sure, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not really sure. I, honest to God, uh, not. I love the snowblower, but I want to like take a bat to it right now, <laughs> like you know, like that. Like, you know, like Clark, Clark Griswold, you know, when the fucking lights don't come on mm -hmm. and he get mad at the reindeer. That's how I feel again with that snowblower. That's how Donna's feeling with the snowblower. Yeah, I want to kick the shit out of it. <laughs> oh, hey. So, uh, our son Michael's coming in on Friday to the Timmins. He sold the fucking thing to Donna, to his mom, his mother, <laughs> and so 
he's gonna come and inspect it and see what the fuck is up. Okay. Dollar store something door. Just door. Okay. We uh went to a couple places when not very far, but one of the places the stops we had to make was at the dollar store. I am telling you, that <clears throat> fucking door looks like it's got every disease on it known to man. Yeah. It is so bad. I went there and Donna Donna opened up the door. <laughs> and I just I just kinda squeezed in past her and I didn't I didn't touch it fucking <laughs> I, no, normally I'd take the door and let Donna go no no today, fuck that. I, she already had it in her hands and I I ain't touching her. No, I usually put like I'll put my sleeve up to grab the handle because that fucking door looks like it should be burnt. Like it I don't know if somebody spit on it or jacked off on it. I don't know. It. There's like, you can see like <laughs> three fingerprints coming down of like is smudge. It, what from, is that fingerprints? Of, of something, snot, bodily function, blood, bodily functions, bodily fluids. Oh, it, fuck, is this disgusting? It is bad. That dollar store door needs to be fucking like spray nined. Spray nined. If you don't know what spray nine is, that's, that's a fucking chemical they sell at Canadian mask it kills AIDS on contact yeah that's what it says anyway anyways <laughs> that it needs you know it needs that or, on it or Javex something or Jav no or, I, I think the spray 9 was right when I, you said that I think they should just put an insurance claim in and they need a new door <laughs> yeah okay we went to your independent grocer today that's a grocery store here and Donna said there was a lady that smelled horrible Okay, we were in. We're looking at the waters on this side, right? And then there's like a big center <laughs> aisle, and then there's like we're on this side. Yeah, so from this side to this side, and then there's a center aisle, right, of different like pops and stuff like that. So we got to. We didn't find any water, so we got to the other side, right? And I said to Ed, I was like, but before that, I seen this fucking lady. It's a lady, but she looks. She doesn't look like a man because she's trying to dress like a man. She just looked like like a man, okay, and. And <laughs> and I was like, when I seen her, I was thinking, fuck, I remember you as a cashier. You used to stink real bad of the smokes. But anyways, we get, she's not even in the aisle anymore, but she was on the side that we went to. And my God, it smelled so fucking bad. I even said, asked that. I was like, I said to him, like, I was like, what is that fucking smell? Like, because it smelled like, you know, like. Some like you know, uh, strong deli meat mixed with <laughs> like uh, it, it was really fucking bad. Anyways, I figured it out when we were fucking we we paid and then we left, and she was in cash one's fucking thing. It's that fucking lady. She smells like stale, like she you know she just rolls in the fucking tobacco right and deli meat like strong strong deli meat like you know. But I don't even know what a strong deli meat is, but it's something that stinks real bad, you know, like a, like a Genoa or a fucking. That's what she smells like. She, she smells like some kind of salami. Yeah, salami <laughs> and stale fucking cigarette smoke. Can you grab some towels? Like I'm telling you, even if you even and she didn't look dirty, like she didn't bathe right. But you know what? For that smell to still be on you for fuck's sakes, right? Your towels, like your whole fucking where you live must just stink. I bet you the walls are fucking beyond this color. They're probably like that yellow in the van up there, you know? <laughs> There's some fucked up walls. <laughs> That's how bad it was, the smell. Okay, Donna. Yeah. We've seen a few subscribers today. <coughs> yeah. The different stores that we went to. Yep. Cigarette holder to everybody. <laughs> um, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good to see you. <laughs> uh, what else happened today, Donna? Crazy drivers. I thought we were going to witness a, an accident, okay? And I don't know if it's a... Anyways, 
This what? So a car? I don't even know how this happened. I don't. I don't even know the fucking outcome of it because, like, the driver that was causing all the mm-hmm. fucking problems, right, was the one to be the maddest, right, the most angered, and start falling. Like, okay, this is what happened. Okay, I'll just show you. Okay, so here's this lane and this lane. So this car is in this lane. So there's a car here and there's, a, like, a car here. So this, this, this is what I don't understand. This lane leads right into the Food Basics and the Dollar Store area. That's what that lane is like kind of dedicated to if you're coming up okay like you know anyways it's dedicated to it so the driver is fucking then goes into this lane between these two cars right uh the driver that's in this front okay in the front here she's gonna make a turn into the food basics the fucking car that end up squeezing in what you just barely made it in Puts on the fucking brakes, right? Nobody seemed to know what they were fucking doing except this little fucking dark car decided it was going to start following. And we watched it, right? Because Ed said, is there going to be a fight? Because the... the Looked like there was going to be a fight. Somebody was mad. Very mad. But like they were following this white vehicle, but then the white vehicle went and parked. And I don't even know if they stayed in the fucking parking lot. No, I think it was the white vehicle that was doing the following. No, no, it was the d- little dark one. The yeah, little sure. dark, yeah, the white one was in the at the cent, at the front, and the dark one came into the lane that just keeps going now into one, and then the lady, I know it was a lady because I seen her get out. Uh, she turned into the she was turning into the food basics, right? And the black or dark vehicle just about hit her because there was barely enough room when when and just to go back into that fucking lane and fall. I don't know what the fuck happened, but like. Thank God I was taking my time driving today, or that could have been us. Speaking of black. Saw some black dudes today. They're wearing like, well, one of them. was wearing a shower cap on his fucking head. I couldn't fucking believe it. I thought... It, was, it, it might have something to do with the way, like the way they do their hair, or something like that. I don't know, but on it was definitely d- different for us to see. I have <laughs> never seen that in my life. It was like you know when you watch a movie, do you see it on the movie, but you don't, you think <laughs> like no, and then you're you don't usually see that around Timmins. Yeah, he had a black, he had a black one on a black, a pure black fucking shower cap, because he had a buddy <laughs> with him that was standing there in shorts and fucking sandals. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking snow on the ground. Yeah, it's cold. It was like, it was minus nine. It's not fucking short and sandal weather. Yeah, anywho. We seen that today. That was different. I don't even know where you buy a shower cap. (laughs) (laughs) Do you? (laughs) No. <laughs> lady at your independent grocery. There was this kind of fucking lady that pulled in behind us into the fucking line, right? Well, I got a couple fucking things. Now she's she's so interested in giving Ed these dirty looks, like you know, like I didn't even notice her. <laughs> and I'm looking at her, like looking at him, but then looking at her car, right? <laughs> and I'm the and she's like fully loaded, right? And independent is one of the. I would say they're right along or more sometimes than the Metro and the Foodland. They're pretty pricey. And I'm looking at her fight and she starts putting up all her fucking boxes of crackers, which you know is going to be for fucking I already Christmas. got my crackers. I got a whole cupboard full. And you know what? I didn't pay two for fucking seven, dumbass. Like, you know, she was just... We got, we got ours on sale. <laughs> she, yeah, but she was really looking like, you know, we, you know, we should not have been fucking... When we go out fucking shopping, we're not dressing up. We don't even have dressy clothes to begin with. Okay, we got just regular fucking clothes. Yeah, I. Don't, I, I don't, we don't dress up and dress. Who clothes. fucking cares? Mm-hmm. What if you're fucking? You're at the. You're at a grocery store. That's the place where you go and get fucking groceries. Why does it matter that you have to? Why? Like why? <laughs> God, people piss me off. People piss Donna right off. Mm-hmm. Not everybody. There is some, like, regular and nice people, but a lot of people piss me off. Dollar store couple. 
we went there to get a couple we were actually i'll tell you the honest to god truth we went there to get fucking craft dinner because at a grocery store it's over two fucking dollars right why is the cheese got strings on it i don't it's provolone Pro anyway. provolone oh it's it's probably that meat the one looks like a pork chop but really thin well that was fucked <laughs> um we went there to because craft dinner at the grocery store i don't know why it's so much right now i have no idea but it's expensive and we sometimes enjoy a fucking bowl of craft dinner okay i ate a whole box yesterday so we went there for that and i said to ed oh since we're here <laughs> i had two boxes yesterday one of craft dinner and one of dog okay look, we're talking about fucking <laughs> stop uh so I said, Dad, since we're here, I'm going to go get, you know, like the tays that you put on presents, the sticky things. What? This oh, yeah, yeah. Now, there was this, now, the woman's here and the guy's there. And the guy, I guess they're giving a fucking probably cheap-ass bottle of wines for Christmas, okay? Cheap-ass bottles of wine. Uh, yeah. And you're at the dollar store and he's grabbing all these, like, you know, the gift bags that are shaped to fit uh, wine or liquor in, right? Yeah. He's getting a bunch of those. Now she's now there's three fucking honest to god there's only three of the great big fucking bags there, you know for like if you want to put uh not a if you had a lot of small presents or maybe a big present inside this big oversized sack right there's three, she can't for the life of her fucking pick out you know which one to go with okay it's blue it's red or it's fucking white okay. There's blue, red, or white. Yeah. The blue and red have stars. The white does not. The white says Merry fucking Christmas. I know all this because we were standing there fucking waiting, right? Cause, and so he's fucking grabbing the fucking bags. You know, I don't even know how many, but he's grabbing fucking bags. And so she turns around and she kind of looks at me and Ed like, you know what? It was five minutes of our time that we could have already been done here, but, you know, we're standing behind fucking you waiting, okay? So... She turns around and sees, and she walks over to her husband, okay? Now, this fat motherfucker that stunk like shit, okay? But he was trying to act like, you know, somebody that, like, you know, like like a gangster, like a head boss, but you're fucking not with his <laughs> big head, okay? He, she walks and he goes, You ain't no head boss. <laughs> he, says, he says to her, well, did you get a bag? And she goes... Well, I don't know which one to pick, right? And he's like, well, just get a bag, like that, you know. But you could tell, like, you know, he had something's going on with the brain. <laughs> like, the way you're talking, the way you going to take his wife home and tune her up. Well, not only that, he wasn't even acting like the right, uh, what do you say, race, you know. Like, uh, you know, he was far from Italian, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he sees that Ed and I are standing there, right. So he starts walking up a bit, right. And we, because they have a stupid, like, pole there or whatever it's called, like a big pole. So you have to go around the pole to, for two carts to fit. Okay, so we go up. And then he turns his cart around, right? But he's mad at his fucking wife. Okay, first of all, I don't know why it took that late. Just pick a fucking bag. <laughs> just, just, pick, just, just pick one. Here, I'll fucking, like, help you decide, you know? Like, fuck, okay? But then I don't understand. You turn around and look at us. Like, we shouldn't be, like, you're in the, you know what? You could have moved up a fucking half a foot and we could have just went around you. But then knowing how bad your fucking husband been stunk, I'm glad we were back as far as we were. Fuck, I hate couples that go in there like that and think they're all fucking that, you know? Oh, that makes me mad. It makes us mad. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like, you know, at the point, at one point I was going to say to Ed, do you want to just go down another aisle and come up? Because it's right on the other side of that, you know. The big fat fuck, you know. <laughs> well, that was a decent fucking snack. Italian sandwich with the cranberry ginger ale. You just starting your sandwich. I'm gumming it. You're gumming it. <laughs> you got a teeth yank today. A teeth. A tooth? You had a teeth yank today. It's not even today. on the outside. That's over here. So. You, had, you had a teeth yank today. 
It's just gum. You're just like chewing with gum. No wonder, like, <laughs> good times over here. Not really, because like you can understand why somebody like could feel full over like less than half a sandwich, because it's gonna take that long to fucking chew it up, and once it hits your stomach, right, it's gonna start to fill it up. We got something to fill you up. Okay, what's going on with the mustard getting all over the place? Uh, like the mustard tiger. Here. Yeah, fuck off. Christmas tree. I don't know how long it's been. But at Christmas time, we usually have a white tree behind us. A little one. With like flashing lights or sometimes... Oh yeah, you cocksuckers see that here every year. The problem is... It's not gonna be one this year because we don't have the room because we got no room this table is different from the last table and that stand that i used to use for the christmas tree is now used for gnomes and stuff at the <laughs> at the front door so we're not going to be having um a christmas tree behind us this year because there's no room mm -hmm. donna bought a christmas tree it's set up in the living room yeah but we can't have the show in there because there's no room no. I mean, unless we stood there for 30 minutes with the tree behind us. Oh, I guess I've used your fucking tripod and, like, well, I don't even fucking know then. Anyways, the white tree's well, not we'll going. We'll see, like, uh, I don't know. It's not a lot of room here. It's not a lot of room here. Anyways. Anywho, I don't know what this last thing oh, is. Oh, this morning there. and then. Okay. I went to your independent grocer early this morning to get uh, Alan's apple juice. Alan's apple juice. And they had their the uh, downy sheets, like the bounce sheets on sale. So I went there for that. I'm coming out, right? And I see this couple over in the fucking parking lot at a black fucking, the newer looking keys, right? One's on each side, and they're both trying to fucking get the car door open, right? And the, the guy's telling the girl to fucking unlock it. She's already said that she did, right? They didn't... No, you know, they're both fucking yanking on it, right? And then they fucking stop, right? And they look over, and their fucking vehicle was parked in the next fucking, like, row, right? So, so they're ripping apart the wrong car? Yeah! <laughs> and then when they realized, they just walked over like it was not, like, you know, nothing even happened, right? And just got into the car and drove off. I, I don't understand how you Cock don't... suckers. How don't you know? Is there not anything like... Both Doesn't that make you wonder, Donna, how many times somebody's mistaken your car for their car and yanked the shit out of the door? Ours have... Maybe even gave it a kick because it won't come open. They better fucking not have. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I would be mad if somebody... Where all those little dents come from in your car? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where those dents... That's a good fucking question. Oh, if I ever seen somebody kick the car, man, I would kick them. <laughs> I would be mad. That's our only car, you know. It's the only car we got. Anywho, that's all we got for notes. It'd be calling nine one one, you know, like hmm. somebody's trying to get into my car. <laughs> my car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to get in my road toke, and Don over here is going to throw you cocksuckers some final words. Stay happy, stay safe, be kind. Enjoy your, your Wednesday, and we'll be back tomorrow. How does that feel to chew with one less tooth? I'm not even chewing on that side. <laughs> okay. But this side has like both sides now. I don't have molars. But to chew She's on... She's gumming the fuck into that sandwich. It is the most hardest thing I've probably had to do in life. <laughs> I was thinking we're not going to be eating steak for a while.
she means she's not going to be eating steak for a while. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you cigarette holder to everybody. We are oot. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm not going to lie, Ed, it's hard. <laughs> Hang on a second. You hear this guy? <laughs> mom. 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 <laughs> Sounds mental. <laughs>